Zipbook accounting software, how to use Zipbook 2023. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zipbook as an accounting software and how you can keep a track of your accounting, your invoices and all your billing and your finances at one platform. So let's get into it. So first of all, this is the Zipbook and this is the main homepage of Zipbook. For that, you need to enter zipbooks.com onto your URL bar and you're going to get it. After coming here, you can see that it is a simple accounting software that makes you even smarter. It is simple, beautiful and powerful. Zipbook gives you tools and intelligence to take your business to the next level. So uh, it has invoicing and billing, it has accounting and also has intelligence. To get started with Zipbook, what you need to do is you have to click on this option which says sign up or you can also click on, the, on this get you can also click on this get started so these are all the pricing plans of zipbooks this is a starter plan which is for free send unlimited invoices it ha can help you manage unlimited vendors and customers accept digital payments square or paypal the smarter plan is for 15 dollars per month it has scheduled recurring invoices with auto bill automate reminders etc and in the sophisticated plan is for 35 dollars per month and everything in smarter uh, along with organized books with smart tagging customer cate customized categories and reconcile every qu account quickly with some other features and the accountant uh, version is for custom pricing and everything in sophisticated for you and your clients text clients directly from zipbook track time across client etc so these are all the other features that you're going to get on the accountant level so you, i'm just going to start with the starter free plan right now because um i'm just going to show you what you can get for no money but you can choose any plan that you want it's completely up to you depending upon your own personal needs so i'm just going to click on the sign up now and i'm going to continue signing up with the free plan that they have so signing up is easy. You can sign up with Google or you can add your company name, email manually as well. I'm going to continue with Google and after signing in, I'll let you know, guys. Okay, so this is the dashboard of a Zipbook and here you can see I have home and there I have invoices, transactions, reports, contacts, tracking and payroll. So to start my, uh, you know, Zipbook journey, I can create an invoice where I can go to my transactions. Here I am going to have a finished setup. This is, these are all the steps that I have to complete in order to basically completely, you know, complete my account. I have my, added my company name. I have to address, uh, add address and font. I have to add a logo. I have to connect a bank then i have to accept cc payments and complete user info so these are all the steps that you need to complete in order to get a complete verified profile of zipbook after that you can see that to get the expenses i have to connect a bank otherwise i won't be able to get any expenses because obviously uh, there won't be any history of the expenses then you have the track time for add a payroll etc so let's say i want to create an invoice i'm just going to click on this option and to create the invoice to create the invoice here is a template okay first of all you need to add the customer who you want to build this invoice to let's say my customer is jane doe for the sake of it so uh, after adding a customer okay so uh, the customer must be added in the contacts first of all otherwise they won't be a recognized customer so i'm just going to add the customer of contact right here i'm just going to do that very quickly contact email okay then i have the company name you can add anything like warehouse department name address line one okay so these are all the details that you have to fulfill in order to verify the customer i'm just going to click on save and let's see if let me let me save okay so my customer has been added now what you have is title optional what is this invoice about let's say this is a test invoice i'm just going to add test invoice then uh, the other thing that you need to add is invoice uh, number this is what they have given me po number you can add it any po number like 00000 march 8 2023 this is this is the amount of money that you need to add the us dollars are fine you need to add the amount right here okay the due date should be anything like let's say the 9th march title description the title of the task is uh let's say development and description is planning this is just some random things that I am adding just out of nowhere because obviously it is nothing right now that is uh, true about this, but this is what I am doing. So this is for rate $30 and the R is worth two. So you can add other uh, items as well and tasks as well. So after that, you can add some terms and notes. And after you are done with everything here, you can see that subtotal uh, two R's and rate was 30. So total is 60 and $60 discount is nothing total and amount due is $60. Here you can see that 
and right now the invoice quality score is 43 out of 100 so you have to basically improve the quality of invoice but this is how the, your basic invoice is made and these are all the steps that you need to fulfill after you're done with that you can click on this add payment to add the payment you can see that paid to cash you can change it to checking savings short-term investments money market and something rents held in trust etc after that you need to add the amount like 60 and the date is this the payment method should be let's say credit card the reference number should be uh, added here the notes if anything that you want to uh, tell your uh banker or something like that so you can add it here and send the receipt to this and i'm going to click on save so this is the log of the payment after it is saved you can finalize it for sending just click on this option you can see everything that uh, uh th that is written here everything looks good just click on this option finalize and send and in this invoice will be sent to the person that you want to send it to you can also download the invoice in the pdf form and send it on some other platform if you want to it's completely up to you so this is how basically you made a simple invoice on zipbooks it's very easy and the next thing that i want to show is how you can create uh, transactions okay so this is the first transactions in the transactions i have sales expenses and bank transactions to confirm uh the total amount and the transaction number in auto categorized so this is the one transaction that i have right now other than that i don't have anything like this is the invoice that i've just created so it is added in the transaction section let's go into the sales i don't have any sales listed and these are the all sales that i have then on the expenses and I no transaction match your filters. You can add or connect a bank and uh, add manually or connect a bank to add all the expenses. And then you can see the bank transactions right here. I don't have any bank connected, so it is uh, looking rather empty. So in here are going to be your reports. Reports are basically going to uh, tell you income statement, balance sheet. You can see income statement, percent of sales, cash flow statement. You can have taxes invoiced, general ledger, general journal, trial balance, and in the sales you have your account accounts receivable sales summary invoice summary and the expenses you have your expenses summary that 1099 summary and billable expenses so these are uh, the ones that are not open for me are not available for the free version that i'm using right now so you can go on and get the premium versions to get all of these features accessed but if you're just getting started if you're a small business then i guess the um, the amount of features that are available on the zip books are enough for you but if do you think that you need more features then you need to buy the premium version then you have accounting and tax in the sales so these are all the different reports that you have that you are going to have when you are basically uh, as you have added all the things in your zip book so this is a zip book is rather simple to use and it basically takes care of all the your banking needs in your invoices your transactions your reports your contact your trackings and your accounts so it is very easy to use but it basically uh, helps you a lot with your business it is very sane to use the book to continue with your uh, you know your financial needs because sometimes it gets a lot of hectic and you cannot take a look of all of these things separately so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to softwares made easy thank you